customer is a, is a major manufacturer of aircraft. They have uh, about 400 aircraft that they're supporting around the world that they have sold uh, to customers, and they need to support them. And there's a condition in the industry that's well known called airline on the ground, AOG. And when an airline goes down, when it for some reason it can't take off at the anticipated time, there's any number of reasons that that takes place. The pilot gets sick, uh, an engine needs repair, avionics equipment isn't working, whatever the issue is, and they support that. And in the legacy world that they had, it was basically receiving emails from a Lotus Note system, looking up the information on the aircraft in the legacy SAP system, and then being able to service the customer um, it, on, on a global basis, it was effectively a lot of manual work, receiving the email, going into the files, exercising it, creating a case study, creating a file, creating a dossier. So what we did is we worked with the customer to build a mashup using Google Maps so that they could see around the world where all the aircraft were. So it, it, leaving the, the, the Lotus Notes application as it is, leaving the SAP system as it is, they were able to create a layer above that enabled that workflow and that process to be executed with some very nice uh, user interfaces using maps and mashup technology and little red pins and dials so that they could follow the customer and able to reduce the number of people that were doing the work and improve the overall quality of the service. That's an example of using some of these technologies while respecting and preserving the legacy environment which we expect is going to be around for quite a bit of time. That's another example of this dilemma where the, the past is respected but the future is attended to. Thank you.